Black Friday is just around the corner. So what should you do with your Facebook ad strategy? Well, very kindly, Facebook sends out an information pack for the holiday season. If you want to go and download this for yourself, then I'll leave a link in the description below. This pack includes information on the best practices from Facebook regarding content and ad strategies. Now the whole document is 63 pages long and that's 63 pages full of text and stats and images. So I'm not gonna go through the whole document because it will take about 12 hours to do so, but I've collected what I believe are the best points throughout the document and I'll talk about them in this video. So let's begin. It begins with a little bit of insight from the holiday season from Facebook's internal data. Facebook says that Christmas shoppers are going bigger earlier because in 2018, 43% of Christmas shoppers started shopping for Christmas in November or even, even earlier. Facebook found that shoppers will not tolerate bad buying experiences, with 70% of consumers saying that technology made it easier than ever for them to take their business elsewhere which is something I completely agree with. In fact, UK Fast, who's a big web host in the UK, also agrees with this statement because they say that 50% of users will leave your website if it doesn't load within the first three seconds, which is pretty ruthless. Facebook then goes on to push its stories placement by saying that 69% of people on Instagram and Facebook say that stories is a great way to find information about new products or services and 62% of people become more interested in a product or service after seeing it within a story. Then we move on to messaging. This is where Facebook tries to encourage businesses to use their messaging platform. Facebook says that 48% of people message businesses to find more information about a product or service. 43% message to purchase the product and 37% message to find out store information. All of this I completely agree with. If you're running ads on Facebook, you need to have some infrastructure in place to manage the messages. Whether that be an in-house customer service team, an out-of-house customer service team or a bot, you need something in place to handle them. Because whether you like it or not, people will message you on Facebook. At the end of the day, it's best to just embrace it because messaging services like WhatsApp and Messenger are the future of e-commerce. This section finishes with Facebook giving you a fairly useful calendar for the holiday season. But the important thing to note here is that Facebook is suggesting that you go live with your campaigns on the 25th of November and run them right through to Cyber Monday on the 2nd of December, with Black Friday being in the middle on the 29th of November. So in the last section of the pack, Facebook details what you should do with your Facebook ads. So this is the bit you've been waiting for, and there's quite a bit of detail within this section of the video. So keep listening, and I'll try and run through it as clearly as possible. Firstly, they push the mobile first approach, because according to Facebook, holiday shoppers using mobile increased by 22% year on year globally. Also, mobile first dedicated shoppers increased by 25%. Again, unsurprisingly, I completely agree with this. If you don't have a mobile friendly store in 2019, it's really going to hold you back and that really needs to be a top priority. Unsurprisingly, Facebook suggests using video ads because according to Facebook, 95% of a message delivered by a video is retained compared to only 10% when it's delivered by a text-based ad. And as you're watching this video via YouTube now, I'm assuming you probably agree with this. Now, typically video creation is very expensive and companies really struggle to create videos at scale for Facebook ads. So Facebook is given a helping hand this year by creating templates for slideshow ads and canvas ads so that you can create festive videos from your still images. Now in this part of the pack, we delve into some detailed segments about ad targeting and optimizations. Now Facebook has been pushing a certain targeting tool called Dynamic Ads with Broad Audiences, or DABA for short. This method of targeting uses your product feed to find people who have expressed an interest in buying your products even though they haven't visited your store. Now I completely agree that this is a targeting tool that you should be taking full advantage of. If you haven't heard of it before or don't understand how it works, then let me know in the comments below 
and if there's enough interest, I'll make a dedicated video about this. Secondly, Facebook suggests you use its next most advanced targeting method, and that is value-based lookalike audiences. Again, I completely agree with this. Value-based lookalike audiences are some of the highest performing prospecting audiences I run. And if you aren't using these already, then you really should think about using them in your advertising funnel. These audiences basically take your current customers and they profile the highest value customers to your business. And then Facebook tries to find more people like them. If you want to learn more about this type of audience, then check out my other video where I cover everything you need to know about value-based lookalike audiences. Facebook then touches upon retargeting audiences. And in more words than this, they're basically saying to leverage your retargeting audiences by pushing more budget into them to maximize returns during the holiday season. This is because you've probably spent a decent amount of budget over the year driving people to your website, your Facebook page, your Instagram page, or maybe even your app. So use these people by aggressively retargeting your Black Friday deals and offers to them because at the end of the day, these people are the most likely to convert. So you want to make sure every single one of them knows about the deals that you're running. However, I believe that in this section, Facebook is hiding a small secret suggestion. Now, this is just my idea and one of my many ramblings. I don't advise you do this. If you do go and do this, then it's completely at your own risk. But I just thought that this was an interesting idea that was worth sharing. At the end, it says, Optimize these campaigns based on recency windows and bidding strategies. Now the part that I'm interested in is bidding strategies. Now the bidding strategy that I would go for at this time of year would be conversions at the lowest cost. Because CPMs and CPAs rise so much during this time of year, if you set a cap CPM or a target cost, you may actually push yourself out of the auction completely. However, that's not my main point here. Now, if you were to change your retargeting objective from conversions to reach, you would then be telling Facebook to get the maximum reach for the lowest cost. Now, as these audiences are already familiar with your brand and products, and you're releasing some of your best Black Friday offers ever to these people, your conversion rates should naturally be quite high. So rather than telling Facebook to just go after conversions, why don't we tell Facebook to reach as many of these people as possible and allow your amazing Black Friday offers and deals and the hype of Black Friday to drive the conversions. Now this strategy may reduce your overall return on ad spend, but I believe it could increase your revenue significantly. I believe this is because the Facebook bidding algorithm won't be as suffocated by the Black Friday hype and high CPMs to just go and find safe and easy conversions. Instead, it's got the freedom to go and reach as many people as it possibly can within that audience segment, and then hopefully your amazing Black Friday offers should drive the conversion naturally. So moving on to the next few points, Facebook suggests that you bid higher because conversion rates increase and so do CPMs but Facebook states that the high conversion rate will offset the staggeringly high CPMs, which is cost per thousand impressions. Again, I completely agree with this. Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the days in between are crazy times on the platform. And it's basically impossible to get low CPMs. It's not unheard of of getting CPMs as high as 23 pound. However, at the end of the day, if conversion rates are so high, and you're getting the return on ad spend that you need for your business, it doesn't really matter what CPM price you're paying. Then, Facebook touches on a point that I just mentioned about maximizing ad delivery. They suggest to not run any bid caps or target costs. This is because the platform becomes quite expensive, and if you run with caps, you may end up pushing yourself out of the auction altogether. They suggest the best bidding strategy to go with is lowest cost, so that you always get delivery. They do also mention that although lowest cost is a flexible bidding method, they have a ceiling built into the bid, so you don't end up paying crazy prices like £100 CPMs. They also go on to say that if you have a minimum ROAS rule applied, to decrease this by at least 25%. Now to be honest, this is something that I don't really agree with, as I think it kind of contradicts what they've just said. To be honest, I would just remove target ROAS completely, 
and choose lowest cost so that you have the maximum ad delivery on Black Friday and you don't miss out on any opportunities by being pushed out of the auction. Finally, we have the most important part of the 63 page document and it's condensed into 11 small bullet points around ad optimization. I agree with 10 of these points and to be honest, they're pretty sound good advice. So they are, consolidate audiences across languages using dynamic language optimization or DLO for short. So this is where you deliver to an audience which has multiple languages in and instead you have ads within that audience which are suitable for each language. Facebook will match the language of the ad to the default language of the user. Next, we have use all placements to get the best results in a crowded auction. So this is Facebook just saying, don't limit the placements where you can deliver ads, just choose all of them. So Facebook can choose the best placements possible to get the return that you need. If you turn placements off, you're potentially limiting yourself because your bid is then fighting for fewer placements which in the long run will probably cost you more. Next, we have use campaign budget optimization, CBO for short, to manage budget across large campaigns. Completely agree with this, Black Friday is a very busy time and you might not have chance to optimize all of your campaigns, so use CBO that will have your back covered and will make appropriate optimization decisions on your behalf. Next, Include warm retargeting audiences such as web visitors and page engagers. Again, standard practice. You want to make sure that your offer is seen by everyone who knows about you, has gone to your website and has engaged with your page. Next, change your bidding strategy to a one day conversion window. Again, this is great advice. Black Friday is a high conversion day and it's most likely that most of your sales are going to come in straight away within one day from someone seeing the ad to purchase it. So it makes sense to optimize towards one day conversions. Next, we have use value optimization on conversion campaigns. Again, I completely agree with this. You should probably use value optimization on all conversion campaigns. You're basically telling Facebook that you want the revenue. So just go after high value orders wherever it possibly can and just bring home as much value as possible for the lowest spend. And the majority of the time, that's what most businesses want more money from less advertising spend. It makes sense. Now the next bullet point is to avoid reach and frequency buying. Now, as mentioned above, I don't fully agree with this because I think you could potentially use reach to your advantage by changing your retargeting campaigns from conversion to reach campaigns, meaning that you blast your offers out to as many people as possible who know anything about you. And again, we have don't cap your bids and rely on automatic bidding i.e. lowest cost. Again, we've talked about that, completely agree. The next bullet point is to test different funnel event optimizations to gain higher volume, such as add to cart versus purchase. So this is Facebook just saying, if you change your conversion event to add to basket rather than purchase, then you're gonna get more data because more people will add to basket than will actually purchase. So Facebook will get that data and they'll be able to optimize on that faster, meaning that you potentially encourage your campaigns to perform better and then bring home a higher return. They have added though to test this because it doesn't always work and sometimes it might just be best to stick with purchase as your conversion event. Then the last bullet point is to run automated campaigns to personalize your marketing efforts. Now with this, they just mean dynamic ads. So dynamic ads with broad audiences or just dynamic ads in general for retargeting. Which again, you should be doing, if you have a feed set up, you should really be running dynamic ads. And dynamic ads with broad audiences are super powerful if you have the right products. So that's my roundup of what Facebook suggests you do with your marketing strategy this Black Friday to Cyber Monday. And just as a reminder of the dates for this year, 2019, Facebook is suggesting that you launch your campaigns on the 25th of November and run them straight through to Cyber Monday on the 2nd of December with Black Friday being in the middle on the 29th of November. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a really successful Q4 and Black Friday week. If you liked this video then please hit the like button and leave a comment below let me know what you liked or what you'd like to see next. Also, if you haven't done so already, then please hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications about my upcoming videos. 
There's a lot more Facebook videos coming and a few more tech videos. So if you subscribe, you'll see them in your feed. I try to upload videos once a week and it takes me around 10 hours per video. So if you could show some support by leaving some comments below, leaving a little like and hitting the subscribe button, I'll really appreciate that and it'll make my day. Thanks again for watching and I'm looking forward to next time.